Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Just a quick project share. Um, I completed this 12 by 12 layout and this is my second layout for the year. So I um, told myself I was going to try to do more 12 by 12 layouts this time around um, this year instead of making um, mini albums. So this is a picture of a co-worker's baby and she is so darling. And um, this was her birth announcement um, that you see here with her picture on it. And um, I love the colors. It's very springy. And I knew when I, when I got it, I wanted to do something with it. So um, the baby just turned one. So this is a late birthday gift. Um, I had given her some clothes. Um, for her birthday but I told her mom that I would uh, do a handmade gift so I decided to do a 12 by 12 layout so this is uh, paper the paper is uh, Prima and it's one of those um, specialty papers so let me just zoom in here um, I'll just start on the right corner there I use a Tim Holtz metal corner and it was uh, like an antique color um, I darkened it up a little bit because I don't know I just thought black would look better so um, I just used a uh, folk art acrylic paint and and then I just gl glittered it up a little bit with um, some stickles <laughs> um, so as you can see, the paper is gorgeous. It is very springy. Um, it has like embroidery on it. You see that? So I did not do that. The paper came with it and it's just super gorgeous. Um, and it already came like looking distressed with, you know, with like the black um, distress ink right there. So I didn't do too much with it. That's why it was such a, a pretty quick project. But um, I knew I wanted to use this paper. So what else did I do? I put a Recollections um, butterfly right there on the right, the pink one. And I layered her picture here um, with a green basil paper and pink um, cardstock also from the same paper collection I believe the pink one anyway uh, I not glimmer misted but I use my Lindy stamp gang um, mist I don't know if you can really see it but I did spray some on the green you can see it on the green and also on the pink but you can't you can barely see it and um, I used cotton candy I think you can see it over here I used cotton candy on the pink and then on the green, I believe it's the Mad Hatter Mint, if I'm not mistaken. Let me get it. It is the Mad Hatter Mint. Yep. So um, on the left corner here, top corner, I um, just clustered three flowers and it's the, um, this is the Gardenia. From Wild Orchid Craft and Cottage Roses and then I used sorry I used um, this black bling that came with the kit the Prima kit um, that I got that was in, you know that included this green paper um, and it already had the pearl uh, the kind of goldish pearl color with it um, on her hair, on her hairband there, I just added a Swarovski crystal so it would be blingy because I love my bling. Mm -hmm. On the bottom here, um, I used a rosette trim. And you guys have seen me use this a lot. Um, from It's from Hobby Lobby. And I just put um, very tiny flat back pearls in lavender because that's her mom's favorite color. So even though this whole layout doesn't have any lavender in it, it's mostly pink and green, um, I just kind of snuck it in there. And it's very light. You know, you can't really tell. 
um, there's another Recollections butterfly on the left corner and then I just layered um, below the pink rosette I layered a couple of um, trims from Gisela shop lavish laces so that's all on that and then to the left there um, I put her initials and I just added some more uh, just a cluster of flowers again and um, that's the lighter pink cottage rose flower in the center and the two green ones like the mint green ones are wild orchid craft flowers and then I stickle them with uh, um, star dust stardust stickles and then to the left is uh, a flower that um, it was included in the kit as well and I don't know I think they're just they're prima flowers oh sorry I put in the wrong package that's the pearl package Oops. Uh, anyway it's, it's a prima prima flower with uh, pearl center I put the pearl center and then what else did I do and it already came with this pretty trim on the bottom and I love it it's it's like one of those loop trim um, and then it has the one of those it kind of reminds me of the Tim Holtz tinsel but in black <laughs> so there it is that's my layout so um, I love it it looks very Eastery I'm like so tempted to put a nest there somewhere <laughs> But um, I'm going to ask her first, you know, I don't, or I don't know, I better not. I'm not sure if she would want that. So there's my layout. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.